The Sukhoi S70 Akotnik B, Russian for Hunter B, is an upcoming 6th generation heavy stealth drone that will fly alongside the Su-57. The Akotnik B boasts a flying wing design, a takeoff weight of around 20 tons, a maximum speed of around 1,000 km per hour, and an operational range of 6,000 km. The drone is believed to be powered by either the older AL-31F engine or the more advanced AL-41F engine that is also used by the Su-35's air superiority fighter. Later they rolled out a new prototype, and the drone had several improvements, including a stealthier nozzle configuration for the exhaust, adding extended decking both above and below, which is designed to shield its infrared and radar signatures from enemy radar. The leading edge of the aircraft's flying wing design is coated with radar-absorbent materials and a smoother finish. It has fewer of the seams and exposed metal fasteners that are prevalent in other Russian designs. Head of the state tech corporation Rostec, as saying that production for the unmanned combat air vehicle will begin soon. The first flying prototype was rolled out in 2021, and we will begin serial producing and delivering it to the defense ministry in 2023 Kemizov reportedly told Russian President Vladimir Putin. The S-70's capabilities and specs. The S-70 is large for an unmanned aircraft, weighing 20 tons, with a wingspan of 17.6 meters, and a length of 13.6 meters. It has the same AL-41F turbofan engine as the 5th generation Su-57 fighter. The combat range is claimed to be 2,500 miles, with a top speed of 621 miles per hour. The S-70's fuselage has two internal bays, with a capacity for more than 2 tons of weapons or specialized equipment. Russian Deputy Minister of Defense Alexei Krivorochko said that Moscow has high hopes for the Hunter. The rollout of the U of marks the completion of the assembly of the product as a whole, equipping it with all the necessary onboard equipment by the requirements for the aircraft, and the transition to complex ground tests to prepare for the first flight, he said. The Russian flying wing design bears more than a passing resemblance to the U.S. Air Force's RQ-170 stealth drone, one of which was hacked and captured by Iranian forces. This leads one to believe that the Iranians have shared the RQ-170's design features with Moscow. It is believed that Moscow is planning on using the S-70 in a loyal wingman role, in conjunction with the Su-57 Felon, which might lead as many as four hunters in tandem. The West shouldn't panic yet. As mentioned, Moscow has a tradition of overstating the capabilities of its equipment. The S-70's stealthiness appears at first glance to have been improved with the second prototype. But the important thing to remember is that this latest aircraft is just that a prototype. The Russians still have to conduct tests on the ground and in the air before the S-70 enters production. Those tests will show how stealthy the Hunter B is or is not. The other factor involved is Russia's ability to continually finance, develop, and produce new designs, which is not something to take for granted. Because of economic obstacles and Western sanctions, Russia has been falling far behind in fielding weapons and replacement parts. However, if the Hunter B proves the Russians' boasts, it could be a deadly and dangerous adversary. Moscow is feeling the heat and has concerns about US stealth and drone capabilities. That is perhaps why Moscow, normally very secretive about its development of weapon systems, has been so forthcoming about the S-70. Russia and Putin may want to project confidence both domestically and abroad in Russia's ability to develop the capability to launch the kind of stealthy, penetrating operations that they fear, coming from the US too.